So now we're gonna talk about the log roll to use after your cesarean birth. So you can use this again, day zero in the hospital. So when you need to get in and out of the bed to go to the bathroom in the hospital, but then also when you come home, this is really important because if your mattress is flat, we're not gonna have that hospital bed that elevates anymore to help you get out. So what we wanna do is whatever side of the bed that you are sleeping on, when you are rolling to that side, whatever side you're rolling off of, you want the opposite knee bent, okay? This is gonna be bent here, and what's gonna happen is you're gonna basically do like a single leg glute bridge with this hip to help you roll onto your side. At the same time that you push through this leg, you're gonna reach that same arm across your body, so you're pushing and reaching so that your core doesn't have to do anything, and just make sure you exhale. So we'll go ahead, so we'll push, reach, breathe out as you roll to your side. From here, you can put the arm down here to help you. You're gonna bring your knees up towards your chest until your feet come off the side of the bed. Tuck your chin towards your chest like the fetal position. Exhale and push through both arms to sit up. Beautiful. Once you're at the top here, it's just the opposite to go back down. So we wanna put this hand down. This hand's gonna go same place. We're gonna tuck chin towards your chest and you're gonna dive down and your feet are just gonna swing up like so. That should be really easy. You're just using gravity to help you there. From here, you want your shoulders and your knees to roll at the same time as you breathe out onto your back. And then once you get here, you can use that double leg glute bridge to help you change positions in bed. So just use that to help you shift. Just make sure every time you move, you're intentionally exhaling so that if you hold your breath, you don't put extra pressure on your lower abdomen or your incision.